this is the first of two videos on routing and automating contact in FL Studio. In this video, I'll explain how to set up contact so that you can have several instruments loaded into one instance of contact and have those instruments directed into separate channels in the mixer so that you can apply different effects to them. In the second video, I'll explain how to automate the different parameters of the instruments, such as their velocity and panning. There is a free version of Contact available, it's called Contact Player, and I'll put a link to this in the description in case you want to give it a try. This is a blank FL Studio project, to which I've added one instance of Contact. We'll load three instruments into this one instance of Contact, and route them to the FL Studio mixer. You can load up to 32 stereo or 64 mono instruments, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just load three. The first thing we need to do is add some output channels for our three instruments in contact. To do this, you click Output up here, and you see that we have one stereo output channel loaded and four auxiliary channels. We're not going to worry about the auxiliary channels, which are the equivalent of sends in FL Studio, but we do need two more stereo channels for our other two instruments. So what we do is click Add Channels, and this little window opens up. The number of channels we don't change, because 2 indicates that there will be stereo channels, which is what we want. The quantity we change to 2, because we want another 2 stereo channels for our other two instruments. And we make sure that Ascending Output Assignments ticked, because this will correctly order and name the outputs. Now you can see that we have three outputs for our three instruments. The next thing we need to do is configure these outputs. You'll see that the first one is already configured. This is the one that was preloaded. To configure the others, we go down here and left click to open the output configuration window. Then we click on one, which is the left output of our second stereo channel, and select Contact Stereo 1. Then we select 2, which is the right output of our stereo channel, and select Contact Stereo 2. And then do the same for the last channel. Now we can load our three instruments. We'll load one from Symphobia and two from the Contact Factory Library, because they'll demonstrate different things. Now what we have to do is direct these three instruments to the three channels we just inserted in contact. The first instrument is OK. As you can see, the output is set to Stereo 1. What we need to do is change the output of the second instrument to Stereo 2, and our third instrument to Stereo 3. Otherwise, we'll end up with all three instruments on the same channel. So we click the down arrow here, and select Stereo 2, and we change the last one to Stereo 3. Well, we're halfway there. What we've done so far has been internal to contact. We've directed our three different instruments to different mixer channels within contact. I'll just select each instrument in turn and play it so that you can see this. But you'll notice that everything is routed to Insert 1 in the FL Studio Mixer. I'll just demonstrate this also.
What we need to do is route our three instruments to different mixer tracks within FL Studio. So how do we do this? The first thing we need to do is set the input port because it will be important in the next step. The way to do this is by going up here to the wrench, left click, select settings and set the input port to zero. Or if there's already a number assigned, just make a note of it. Next, go to Channels, Add One, and select MIDI Out. You'll see that a MIDI Output channel has been added to the Channel window, and a MIDI Out window has opened. The first thing to do is to make sure that the port is set to the same number as the input port in the previous step. We set our input port to zero, so zero is fine here. Next, make sure that the channel is set to 1, since this will be the MIDI out for our first instrument. Then go up here, and on the new MIDI out channel that's been added in the channel window, right click and select clone. The channel settings window for this new channel, MIDI out 2, is now visible. On this new one, change the channel to 2. Then clone MIDI out 2 and change the channel to 3. Then we go up here to the wrench on the contact interface and open processing. The first three correspond to our three instruments, so we change these to 0, 1 and 2 respectively. If you put 1, 2, 3, the instruments will be linked to tracks 2, 3 and 4 which can be a little confusing, so start from zero. Now if we select and play our three instruments, we'll see that they're directed to inserts 1, 2 and 3 in FL Studio. OK, so now we have our three instruments directed to different channels in the mixer. If we wanted, we could now apply different effects to these instruments by loading them in the effect slots in the mixer in the usual way, reverb, delay, etc. In the next video, I'll explain how to automate the instruments.